Okay. In this video, we will see how to send attachment from Power Apps to the SharePoint list as well as document library by using the Power Automate. In Power Apps, we will use Power Apps V2 connector and send single as well as multiple attachment from Power Apps to the SharePoint list and document. Let's see how to do it. First, I will explain you the scenario. Okay, then we proceed. So, I just uh, make it big. You can see. Um, I have created one SharePoint list here. Okay, here one title column is present and attachment column is present. You can be see. Okay, go and name to that list geography and site name is patch example one. Okay. After that, in the Power Apps, what I have done, let's take a one blank screen. Okay, in the blank screen, just add one form, edit form here. Okay, to the edit form, add the data source. This way, add geography. Okay, uh, from form, okay, go to the attachment and just copy this data card only. Okay, first unlock it. Okay, delete this. this as well and this as well just click on this error and remove this simply okay so just copy this attachment from here okay by then control c you can be copied or you can try to yeah we can be copy this so we will go and outside of form okay and just paste it if you can be see we have attachment now okay so let's we go and remove this remove this we'll remove all the errors from here okay we also have to do the same procedure okay? remove this as well okay so this data card you have to use in or from to upload the files okay we can be see we can be upload the files okay okay now let's we jump to the screen one okay to this attachment okay you can be set your limits and other things okay as per your convenience Now set a max attachment to the 10 and maximum attachment to the size to the 10 MB. Okay. And to add the record here, okay, by simply click on this. Let's add two uh, records here, okay. So two files is uploaded. Do name to that. I will go Ravindra. So this two records is added to the sharepoint list okay in this list okay uh, in the first record two attachments is present okay let's see for multiple we will check let's click on the multiple so our flow is running you can be see our record is saved successfully first i will show you the power automate flow okay so you have some which were understanding uh, you can be see we have two attachment that's why our flow runs two times okay so i will just open it okay. zoom it little out so from power s we are taken the inputs okay two inputs we are taken Title, file content, and the type name in the string form. So first, we are created a file into a document library. You can be see this is the ID, and uh, we have to store this file into the SharePoint list. So that's why you, we use add attachment action of SharePoint and add this attachment one by one. Okay. So we'll see how to make this also. Okay. So first I will show you how explain the flow. Okay. Then we will go to the 
SharePoint list. Okay, so first I will refresh the SharePoint list here. So you can be see our record is here attached and two files are here present. Round up and send multiple attachments. Okay, and number of attachments will upload as per the condition. So let's see the flow. Now. From Power F, okay, we have taken a file content means that file we are uploading from Power F, okay, that file content and number, okay. First, what you have to do, click here, add action, okay. Power F. So from here yeah, power v2 trigger you can be add from trigger action okay already added after that we will add action create file here you have to create a file anywhere in one drive as well as in sharepoint anywhere you can be create okay so here we will give our site address okay in my case i have patch example one folder path okay you can be give uh, your document library folder path Okay. so i have given here file name for file name we will write one uh, expression here you can be see i just copy it okay and paste it into the expression so you can be read that what you have to write trigger body okay that we are taking from power as v2 connector okay file okay this file okay and file name okay uh, completely dynamically we are taking the file name okay in the run history also you can be see um, okay yeah correct so in run history you can be see we have file title type in that we have the name as well okay so from here we are taking the name okay from this okay from power apps okay simply you have to write this expression and click on ok for file content you have to go to dynamic content ok and uh, select the file content from here ok you have to add some custom names ok you can be give here like uh, xyz or anything you can be right in front of this ok after that we have attachment so by using this create file okay you will able to add your file into a document library okay i will show you the document library doc yeah doc lab so here you can be see we are uploading this to attachment here okay simply yeah so by using create file you will able to add your file into a sharepoint document library okay so how to add into a attachment okay simply add one action here okay add an action add attach in or you can be go to the sharepoint trigger okay sharepoint if we take some sharepoint okay in sharepoint add an action first action you have to select okay select your uh, site address okay in my case i will select patch example one list name we will select the list name in our case we have a geography uh, name okay so i will find it out here okay uh, G, yeah this is here id okay id we are taking from the power f v2 connector okay from power f we are taking the id of our uh, list okay where is my geography list okay Mm, mm, geography geography mm. yeah here so this id we are taking from power apps okay how to sending that also i will explain you don't worry file name okay same file name expression we will type here okay figure output figure body file name okay i will just copy this and paste it here and this uh, i will add into a comment box okay 
So from that you can be simply copy. So in file name. We have file content, okay. File content we take dynamically from Power V2 connector. In file name, we go to expression. Control V. Control V. Then. So uh, this is our flow complete, okay. Uh, this type of flow you have to create, okay. After creating a flow, you have to jump to the Power Apps, okay. Click on this plus icon from add a flow I had a flow from here okay your flow name is display here okay if not see you just uh, refresh the action here okay then your flow is visible here okay so in my case I have add attachment from power app okay so uh, let's uh, jump to the formula okay first what we'll do we will create a record okay and store that record into where one two okay you can be see in where one two we have complete record over record okay and we are patching that into geography list okay we are doing patch function okay geography title we are just sending the title of this column that's why we, we use a title text input and after that we are using reset okay so up to this uh, we are uh, dealing with uh, just uh, creating a record simply okay i just uh, format the formula so you can understand it little bit more and little bit zoom it out okay uh, too much uh, done i miss not too much yard uh, pro we'll jump it out outside no problem we will uh, re-jump to it Uh, this formula I also provide you into the comment box. Don't worry. From that you can be copy same formula and use it. Deep, got it. Overbreed. Multiple. A uh, little bit one time. On here. format the text okay so up to this we simply creating record okay by the for all function okay number of attachment we will check and uh, if number of attachment means we are getting this record into an array format okay and we are literating that number of times that flow okay means in our case if we have one attachment then our flow will run only single time okay and uh, if number of attachment is more our flow runs multiple times same you have to type here data card value one attachment as a document okay add attachment is our uh, power automate flow name okay after that type run okay and we have to pass and record if you see here okay we have to pass file as a record so record we are passed into a curly brackets okay so same approach we are follow from here okay intelligence provides us okay so we give curly braces in that we are pass file okay content byte document dot value okay name also we are passing okay name and that name we are taking from trigger body output in power out so same name uh, here this name okay trigger body output this name we are passing from power app, okay now for number okay in power app we are use this number okay this is id okay number id okay so we are taking this from where one two that record we are created initially that record we are passing here and simply notifying us done and resetting data card value okay so um this is a complete tutorial friends if you have any doubts in this okay you can feel to ask questions on comment box okay if you need any help okay you can be message me on linkedin or into comment box okay if you have some suggestions for me you can be provide the suggestions into a comment box i try to improve myself and present it in better way to you that's all